lockdown vlog. Although my kids are still at school, so I don't actually think too much will change in our life. Apart from not going to choir and not seeing friends in real life, I guess my life here at home is pretty much the same. Exciting. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for the anticipatory excitement from my previous vlog, which goes live today. I love getting all your messages and I love knowing that you're looking forward to these vlogs. It really means a lot because, you know, in my inner voice definitely goes like, nobody's interested. So <laughs> it's really cool. So it's November, I've got a pre I've got a pretty busy month with things that I'm promoting. I'm excited about all the things I'm involved in, but I do kind of worry about doing lots of promoting of different things because because of aforementioned fears. And obviously I want to launch my shop and I also have to um, produce my Lifebook bonus video, which is the one that is going to go live for Lifebook 2021 next year. My deadline is already this year, so I have to kind of do a brainstorm and work that out. And then other than that, I just want to get back into this habit of creating art. I obviously did quite well with the Inktober slash October art challenge. Then I fell off the wagon because the prompts weren't really working for me. And then I was making couch art. Uh, and I am kind of itching to come back to some mixed media, like some proper messy, grungy, textured mixed media. I was thinking, like, right now, I'm going to just sit at my desk and do a little bit of that, even though I don't really feel like it, but I know that that's just something that happens, like, you know, when do I ever really feel like making art? It's usually when I'm not able to, and when then I have the opportunity, it kind of, like, <laughs> it goes away a little bit, so I will just kind of, like, gently push through that. Not in a mean way, but in a, in a gentle way. In a kind of... There's one part of Iris that knows what's good for the other part of Iris. Tidying my desk and changing my paint water might be a good idea. addicted to these Weetabix crispy minis and I have them with yogurt. I just cut my fringe. It's that it's that time in lockdown. <laughs> I think all other people quickly went to the hairdressers the day before lockdown but I didn't because I'm not organized like that. So here we are another day another messy art desk. That's, I feel like that's all I ever do tidy my art desk. <laughs> I found this tin uh, in the kitchen and it was kind of surplus and I don't know... I thought I would take it up here and see if I can use it. I mean, I'm sure I can use it, I just don't know using it for what yet. And let me just apologize forever for the roadworks noise. I was thinking actually of doing a vlog after this one, um, talking about 
no, not really talking about, but showing you my art space and tidying it up. Like I was doing, like not just tidying up like what I'm doing now, but like doing a proper, proper stock take and clear out because I may basically just use what's on my desk. And I've got these caddies, I've got these caddies, and they are just full of stuff. Um, and I thought that, you know, now lockdown's the, bleh, lockdown's the time to kind of get organized and really, you know, see what I use, see what I don't use and kind of maybe just clear out all these things that have been sitting here for years that I don't use. So I thought that might be fun. I'll show you a couple of things I've been working on. So I think I do my art in bursts. And yesterday and a few days ago, so I worked on this one. I was kind of trying to capture the vibe uh, of a piece I did before with lots of watercolors. Then I did this one. I was really trying to kind of go for nice texture, like really grungy uh, texture with the acrylics and watercolors. What else? Oh yes, this slightly more kind of abstracty piece. I think my art's a bit all over the place at the moment, and I find that a bit difficult to um, accept. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really just, I don't know, trying stuff. So yeah, those are the kind of things that I've been working on recently. I'm trying to kind of just, I don't know, find my style? It's not really finding my style, because I feel like I have a style, it's more like finding that which I want to paint because it's not that clear to me I don't sit down thinking like oh yeah that's what I want to paint or that's what I want to express I'm really very much searching um, which is quite uncomfortable um, sometimes I mean all the time <laughs> I'm so close to finishing this journal uh, my friend Marika gave me this in 2017 and I first started it um, she gave me three journals, one for me, one for um, my, uh, and one for each of my kids. And we started doing like art journaling together. So the first stuff is like kind of illustration stuff that we did together. And then I decided I really like this format and I started just doing, doing my own art in it. And I have nearly finished it. So after three years, I have got two pages left. Uh, this one, which isn't finished and um, I guess that's the final page and this one might be finished so one or one two or three pages left um, and I just thought it would be fun to do a bit of work in this and um, definitely hoping to finish this before the end of the year and then I can do some um, some flip throughs um, to show you what's in there <laughs> A quick update as per usual I have no idea what's in this vlog I don't know how long I've been filming I don't know what the previous section was I yeah I'm just like this today I've been looking forward to tonight it isn't tonight yet but tonight it it will be later Um, I have been looking forward to this forever <sighs> where to start Um, a few years ago no, let's go back 10 years first, 15 years, I don't know. I really wanted to play D&D, &D, 
and I tried to play it um, once at like a and d group and I just, it was just really boring because there was like all people I didn't know and I was really shy and like that kind of thing and it just became about dice rolling <laughs> and rules and it was boring. Then a few years ago I found a little group of kind of like people I just met but they were kind of friends so that worked uh, but that group fell apart and then more recently um, some people were talking about D&D &D and I had just been really thinking I really want to play again. I, I want to finally have an opportunity to play properly with a group of friends and so I thought well why don't I just try and put a group together myself and it worked, yo. <laughs> Actually also found ourselves a DM, so I'm kind of blown away at how lucky <laughs> I am that this has kind of come together so easily and so quickly. So tonight I will be playing D&D, &D, except I won't actually be playing D&D. &D. Uh, we're doing, it's like a session zero where we kind of discuss how things are gonna go and we start maybe putting some ideas out there for characters and then we're gonna go away and develop our characters but uh in any case i am super excited now let me just take you to the office and i will chat to you about other exciting things okay welcome to the office this is my shop and as you have already been seeing in uh the different vlogs uh you've been seeing me preparing these stickers and kind of finally getting off my ass and making things happen and all uh, the stock that I had um, kind of planned to create for my first, well, only shop launch, because you can only launch once, right, um, is now ready. So I have got five different sets of stickers uh, and I'm really excited about this. It's been, it's just been so nice to basically turn my own art into stickers. It's a real kind of, I don't know, like as you've probably realized that I tend to get quite down on myself and stuff. So doing something like this is like a real honoring and a real nice way to honor myself and my own art and how far I've come with developing my own style and stuff like that. Um, so yes, I'm very excited. Um, these are the envelopes that I'm going to be using. It's been a, it's been a steep learning curve, <laughs> I have to say. I have been putting the finishing touches to my shop. There is um, an actual, like, uh, there's a coming soon page on the shop. The shop is shop.iris-impressions.com. Um, there's a coming soon page and a countdown timer, very professional, on there. I made a little tiny promo. <laughs> the cat's coming. She's coming. Um, I made a tiny little Instagram promo uh, and it's also on my TikTok that I was quite pleased about. Um, I will pop that in here. I'm going to be planning a newsletter that will go to my newsletter list which will basically announce the shop launch. It will send a discount code uh, for subscribers only um, and it will also... The cat is behind the camera. <laughs> What I'm also going to do is that uh, newsletter subscribers are going to get a, uh, they're going to get first dibs. Um, so yes, this is basically a low key way of saying, get on my mailing list if you're not on there and if you're interested in my stickers. Welcome to an extremely British weather day. I've realized how much time goes through my fingers during the week and then on the weekend like I have no motivation but during the week I take the kids in and then I pick the kids up and then in between <laughs> I have a scant few hours and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays I have therapy so I have like no time. Anyway it's Friday and I thought I would hit the ground running. It's morning right now. I just got up and I want to um, I want to record this flip through. I think I mentioned it um, of this chunky journal that I have finished. I've been working on since 2017, so that's quite a long time. And I actually I haven't I haven't actually finished it. I still have this page to do. Um, but this bit is meaningful. That was something I did with my son. So. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do anything here, but yeah, probably 
I don't know because obviously I'm sitting here ready to film this flip through so I think that's what I'm just gonna do um, and uh, yeah knock that out be efficient yo oh and yes um I I'm going to do two versions of the video I'm going to have one that is just you know like a montage of all the all the spreads without any talking and then I'm going to have a slightly more in-depth one where I um, uh, might chat a little bit about the meaning of pages or like you know what they show that kind of thing oh yes one more thing when you're watching this vlog the flip through is probably already up on my channel um, so yeah check that out <laughs> <laughs>